Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel, My So-Called Healthy Life. Um, today, I'm just gonna get right into the meditation. I am not feeling really great, um, but I really, really liked this meditation this morning when I read it, so I would like to share it with you. It's from the book, The Daily Book of Positive Quotations by Linda Pacone. All of the meditations books that I uh, use and all of the books I reference on this channel are listed below, so please go check them out. Um, June 12th, Shared Suffering. When a good man is hurt, all who would be good must suffer with him. Goodness does not exist in isolation. Every act of goodness contributes to the greater good. Similarly, when any act of goodness is delayed or thwarted, we all suffer. Sometimes we see or hear about bad things being done to good people, and we won't do anything because the event seems so far away or disconnected from us. But when a good person is attacked, injured, arrested, jailed, tortured, or killed anywhere in the world, we are all diminished. And we are all a little less, safe, little less safe. Thought for the day. What can I do to support good people doing good things wherever they are? Can I send money, join an organization, write a letter of support, contact a government official? I think this is actually a really good meditation. And it's kind of different than what I usually do on this channel. Um, and one of the reasons that I liked it was I was watching this documentary last week um, on Netflix called, I think it's called Witness about this woman that was killed in the 60s and her brother goes back to kind of like find out what really happened and she was um, murdered in front of her apartment complex and she got stabbed by this guy and then she like ran inside the building and then he ran away because she was screaming and then he came back and killed her and um, it like changed the 911 laws in New York City but um, what was interesting about it was that nobody did anything even though they heard her crying. And I think as an analogy for the whole world, there are people crying all over the world, you know? And a lot of us could do something to help, whether it's donating at, you know, like a food pantry once a year even, you know? Or taking canned goods, or donating old clothes, or coats, or shoes, or, you know, sending a little bit of money if you don't have that. And it can be with any organization, any charity that you believe in, you know? And it doesn't have to be a lot. You know, 50 cents makes a difference. A dollar makes a difference. And I know a lot of us don't have a lot of money, so we could donate our time. But I am a big believer in service towards the community, and not just the community you live in, but the community at large called the planet Earth. I, I really do believe that. And contributing back into a positive way and asking yourself on a daily basis, what am I doing to put negative out there in the world? And what am I doing to put positive out there in the world? And it is as simple some days as just smiling at somebody or shaking their hand or introducing yourself or saying to somebody, I really like your sweater or you look nice today or hey, it's good to see you. All of those things encourage happiness and encourage positivity in the world. You know, when we meet people with negativity, they often meet us with negativity. To change that kind of attitude in the world, we have to change it within ourselves first, which is why on a daily basis, I really try to stay positive. I really try not to play into the negative and I continue to try to, you know, be the best version of myself that I can possibly be. And, um, you know, I do engage in some charity work from here to here. I do a lot of service work. Um, it's something that I actually really, really enjoy because it takes me out of self. And a lot of times when I'm feeling ungrateful or I'm feeling like, woe is me or whatever, to get out of myself, and to go help somebody else is exactly what I need to do. And I'm not real good at it. I mean, I'm not real good at it. You know, like my friend Tanya is really, really good at this. And I remember one day I was talking to her and uh, she has a real good friend that passed away from um, brain uh, cancer. And he was very sick and he was like, you know, in hospice and his wife just wanted to spend time with him. And I had had this shit day all based on gossip, right? And I called her up and I was like, all right on the phone and then I went and picked her up later for a fountain coke and like for the first 20 minutes I was like rah, 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 bitching money about my day right and I got in the car with her we got like back in the car for the gas station and I said well what did you do today because I like felt bad that I had just all talked about my misery of the day right and she said oh I went over to so-and-so's house and I cleaned their house for them I made them dinner and I went and got a movie from the red box so that they could just enjoy the day together I go Tanya how do you like get there like I want to get there and she's like that's what I was taught to do to just be that person you know and she's like there's nothing special about it I'm not a better person for doing that it's just what I was taught to do and that's who I aspire to be to be the person that just goes and does those things not because I'm getting any pats on the back not because I'm a wonderful person but just because that's who I'm supposed to be and I and, and that's what I aspire to be that person today so there's so much positivity we can put out there into the world it doesn't have to just be in the form of money or a check so Think about that and see how you could change your life on a daily basis to make somebody's life better. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.